So you just went through the process of installing Docker on a Windows 11 PC. You double click on the icon on your desktop. You want to get it started up and this is what you get. It basically just sits at this window for hours on end if you leave it and it won't actually start. So I was searching online. I found something on Stack Overflow and there's a few simple steps that you can do to get this up and running properly. And I'll walk you through those steps right now. So we've closed out of Docker. You want to make sure it's completely ended. Even in the tray, we're going to right click on it and quit it so it's completely shut down. And now we're going to follow the few steps and I'll make sure I also link that in the description below if you're trying to find these steps directly. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first go to the, the Windows button over here at the bottom and we're going to type in Windows Security and we're going to select Windows Security. Inside Windows Security, we're going to be going down to uh, App and Browser Control and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to Exploit Protection and then go to Exploit Protection Settings. You have a couple menus up here at the top. You want to make sure that you're selecting the Program settings menu and if you scroll all the way down uh, you're going to be looking for vmcompute.exe now if you don't have it in here i didn't have it in here i had to manually add it uh, what you're going to want to do is click on this add program to customize click on the plus next to it and then choose exact path and then we're going to be putting in the path for this file which is c colon slash windows slash system 32 slash vmcompute.exe and then click on open and then it'll show up over here at the bottom and there's a couple things that you want to make sure uh, that's going on here. So we're just going to select the down arrow and then click on edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the section where it's called code flow guard, uh, which is right over here. Uh, now, if this is selected like this and it's enabled, you actually want to make sure it's disabled. Okay, so uh, make sure it's disabled, it's off and then hit apply. And you've just applied those settings say yes to the prompt. So we have that done and we can close out of this window. We're gonna go back into the start and we're gonna be opening up PowerShell. So we're gonna click on this, type in Windows PowerShell. We're gonna right click on it, run as administrator, say yes to the prompt. And inside the prompt, we have a couple commands that we're gonna be running in here. Uh, the first one is to start uh, VM compute. So we'll type that in there. So it's net space start space VM compute, hit enter. So it should start this. I already have it running, but it should be starting it. And next, what we're going to do is run the next line. And now we want to set the WSL version. So you're going to paste that in to version two, then hit enter. And there we go. The operation has been successfully completed. That should be it. You can go ahead and close this window. And now you can start up Docker. You might have to restart. In some cases, I read that you have to restart your computer, uh, but you can go ahead and start up Docker and it should start up all the way. There we go. So we close it off and uh, it's starting up. So we have the engine running. Docker has completely started up right now and we're good to go. I hope this video helps you. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.